whether it's a Delhi crime, you know, which is something Bollywood never have made. It's democratizing. It's going to give equal value to me as much as it will give a Shah Rukh Khan. Whereas the industry, the multiplexes would not do that. He knows his music very well. He knows his camera very well. Anurag put it in Delhi, starting from Punjab, because Punjab did have a, or still does have a very high drug problem. Abhay Deo, wonderful to have you back on Bollywood Angama. Thank you. I've just seen JL50. Uh, really engaging. I had a great time watching it. Um, what was what was it in the JL50 that made you go for it? I mean, you don't get to do science fiction at all, especially in our industry. People don't venture in that space. So I think the science fiction part of it. But then again, it wasn't one of the science fiction films where you have, you know, laser beams and spaceships and all. It was very high concept, high drama. I love the journey of my character, the twists and turns, the discoveries he makes along the way, you know. So I think that's what I found most attractive about the script. How important is the world of the film? Like, for example, the way Kolkata has been shown, I think it's beautiful. Um, there's so many moments that, that really engages you as far as Kolkata in, in itself is concerned. Um, be the cars and a lot of other things. How important is, it, is, is the world world of the film for you? Or any series? That's, that's, that's production design, no? Uh, which is a, a, an extremely important element to any film or series. Uh, it defines the look. It defines the mood, the tonality. Um, it defines whether you're artistic or, or not, original or not. It's, it's as important to a film or a show as is the directing is or the camera work. I would say even the music is, is part of the, that world. The way yeah. the music has been utilized, the song. Filmmaking, uh, filmmaking is a collective process. You know, it's not one thing, even though you have a best director, a best actor, a best cinematographer, but they all collectively make a film or a show what it is. You know, it's teamwork. How important is the subtext of a film for you? Because when, when we're talking about JL50, there are several elements when it comes to the subject of it, the, uh, the entire um, communist angle into it, uh, the, the professor bit, and um, what all is going, going across. So it, everything is in the background in a way, but uh, one, one can't take away the subtext either. If you want to portray the place you are in authentically, then you have to take the elements that that place uh, has. What, 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 what inhabits that space? So uh, in Bengal has been famous for being left-leaning, you know, almost communistic. So, so how could you escape that? You know, it, if you want to define the character of a person, let's say I want to define your character. Let's say you're somebody who wears caps all the time. Now, when I portray you on screen, I'll have you wearing a cap, right? Um, because it's true to who you are. So whether it's JL50 or anything else that I have done, you will notice that all of them will, uh, in, order to, in order to portray something realistically, you have to portray the reality. That's why realistic reality, I mean, the same word, you know? Uh, when, when we contemporized, when I contemporized Dave D and worked on the treatment, Anurag put it in Delhi, uh, well, starting from Punjab, because Punjab did have a, or still does have a very high drug problem, you know, so it made sense to start there. So as filmmakers, as artists, we take from what is already there and then use that to portray the story you want to portray. I really loved the conversations that you had with uh, Pankaj Kapoor. Um, how's, how's, how's the interaction with, with, with him for you? The way he becomes a character. Dream to work with. He's a thorough professional. You know, he he just eases into his character. You know, he doesn't he doesn't work very hard. He's already there. When he's on set, he's already the character. You know, and that's kind of nice to work with somebody like that. You know, because acting is about reacting. You know, and so when your when your co co actor is delivering, does something different or unexpected, um, you can take from that something new that somebody throws at you gives the opportunity for you to do something new as well. What about Shalindra? Uh, he's, a, he's a director of the series. 
Um, how was the interaction with him and the, what really drew, drew you guys together? Shay is very clear in what he wants, which is always good. You know, as, as a director, you need to be that. Because everybody depends on you, is looking to you for clarity, vision, direction. And he came with all of it. He's very passionate. He knows what he wants. Um, he's easy to talk to. There's no ego. Um, hardworking. You know, he's extremely gifted. He's a singer as well. I don't know if he's told you that, but um, so I like no, that. I've spoken to him, but yeah. He knows his music very well. He knows his camera very well. And that's what made it easier to trust him and work with him. All right. And how do you look at this, this entire uh, uh, wave of OTT that is going on right now? Uh, there's a complete shift because of the uh, pandemic as well. Uh, you've been part of that for some time. How do you look at this, this entire transformation? That yeah, I mean, I, I knew it was coming. Uh, you know, I was the first to release a film on Facebook India uh, in the world. And that's because I knew that this is where it's going to go. I had already experienced the multiplex boom that happened. It happened at the beginning of my career, which is why I was able to release films like Manorma and Devdi and Oi Lucky and Road Movie and Ek Charlie. Those films would not have found a release uh, on a single screen cinema. It was a multiplex that needed content that gave it a platform. Multiplex is a physical entity, mm -hmm. finite. So uh, eventually the, you know, the, the bigger films, because they have the money and the clout, if there's 4,000 screens, they want to take 3,800 of those screens. They leave 200 for the others to fight over. Uh, with the digital platform, it's infinite. It's democratizing. It's going to give equal value to me as much as it will give a Shahrukh Khan. Whereas the industry, the multiplexes would not do that. Um, so that is why newer talent is getting, not only newer talent is getting a chance, uh, but newer ideas are getting a chance. New talent is getting a voice. And actors, filmmakers who've not been a part of a clique are uh, now getting to keep their dignity and not try and become a part of the clique, just get work from an OTT platform because, you know, it, it, the, the, the space is infinite. They, they need content. So you'll see that is why now you're seeing so much of a variety of Indian talent, so much of a variety of Indian thought. And I'm using the word Indian because right now we've just been defined by Bollywood. and since there was no alternative, they, they would say, no, but our culture is about song and dance. And that's why we have song and dance. And I'm like, really? I know there's song and dance in our culture, but Nautanki is not the only source of inspiration. You know, that's what essentially Bollywood is. It's taking Nautanki in, because Nautanki may be hoi hota hai na? They have gana bhi hota hai, romance bhi hota hai, drama bhi hota hai, ye bhi hota hai. So yeah. that's where Bollywood comes from. But that's not the only thing about my culture. My culture is far bigger, far more vast. My culture has poetry. My culture has uh, dialogue as much as it has dance. And so I need, to, I, need, I need to see my culture for what it is, not for who you, what you think it is. And so the OTT platforms are now showing us whether it's a Delhi crime, you know, which is something Bollywood would never have made, ever. You know what I mean? Or what I made, what are the odds? which is completely different from a Delhi crime. It's very urban, about two kids in a city, and they speak mostly English. Now that's what I got made by Bollywood, because they would have said, that's not our culture. In our culture, they don't speak English. In our culture, they, 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 they don't show drama and they would do it in Delhi crime. That's what you would have heard.